always shocked. This is inevitable. It's like an inevitable thing, you know what I mean? Multiple sources say that Kylie, who's 22, and Drake, who's 33, have been spending a lot of romantical time together. It's only been days since Kylie Jenner gave birth to baby number two with Travis Scott, and the internet is already going crazy with conspiracy theories. From the very special birthday to the baby's name, fans are going all out with speculation. But by far the craziest theory regarding Kylie's newborn baby is the one claiming Drake is the baby's real father. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Nick. Today's video girl, we're gonna be talking about, um, what's that girl's name? Oh, Kylie Boom Boom Jenner. Okay, so first of all, we have a new angle. So, you know, you can see them sit up, okay? We have a new angle, hope you like it. Uh, let me show you what, what you're sitting on. It's so bougie. Okay, check it out. Let me show you right here. Ooh, this is so freaking cute. It's like a little road. Because Valentine's Day is coming right around the corner. And let me tell you, I got about three, four, five trades and boyfriends that I got to buy Valentine's Day stuff to. And you already know, they're not going to get me anything. I'm always the one. I'm paying for everything. I'm always the one putting my hand uh, in my Birkin bag, being sugar mom of the house, like Michaela and Jacqueline Hill, I'm always the one. Leave a like in the comment if you're that girl who always has to, has to pay, because these guys are broke and don't got no money, okay? That's me, and that's, girl, that's me a lot. Look, I don't, when you, know, when you go out with your friends and they're like, who's gonna pay, who's gonna pay for the, girl, I just throw my car down, y'all sort that out. Y'all can cash at me if you want to, if you don't, you don't, but like, whatever. I ain't gonna, I'm not doing all this. There it is, bye. Okay, that's why I, when people do pay for stuff for me, I'm like shook. I'm like, what? What? Is that my friend K Cash? I love her so much. Okay, so check this out. We got a lot to talk about. So you already know this video is sponsored the house by Dossier. Thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so so much. I have it right here. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell you. Dossier is an amazing fragrance company. They have so many different fragrances there. This is what the packaging looks like, and I'm gonna show you what they sent me. So it says, iconic scent, designer quality, no markups. You don't have to pay those big box prices for it, so I'm gonna show you what I got. The packaging is sustainable, and I really do care about that. I do like, they have that mentality in mind to have sustainable packaging, recycled paper, and things like that. So I have Aquatic Peony by Dossier, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I do love how it has that magnetic enclosure. A lot of really luxury brands have this aesthetic, so it has that, I love that. And we're gonna just give it a little spray here. Mmm, it smells like money. It's more expensive and bougie the house. Now I want you to really clock the sprayer. I put my black shirt. Like it pushes out a lot of fragrance, and it pushes out very nice. It's not like, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's really good. It's a nice heavy packaging. So this one right here, it's a 1.7 fluid ounce or 50 milliliter. Yeah. So you get a lot of bag for your buck. Now you can head over to dossier.com if you like florals, if you like that musk and leather and oud fragrances, they have you covered over there at Dossier. They also have a genderless collection. So you like the whole unisex vibe, they have that for you. Now Dossier has been featured in Teen Vogue, Insider, Buzzfeed, and Fashionista, all reputable websites. And of course, duh, Rich Lux. I want to stress to you, they have fair pricing. Some of their fragrances range for $19, whereas luxury brands can be from $100 to $350 for some of these fragrances. You don't have to pay that at Dossier. Everyone deserves to smell like luxury. And of course, their products are cruelty-free, paraben and phthalate-free, colorant and UV filter-free. And that matters to me. So definitely check out Dossier.com. You're going to love their fragrances. I put the link down below. And thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drama. <sighs> Kylie Jenner finally exposed her own daughter. Wait, is it a daughter or a boy? I don't even know. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't even know. Boy, I think it's a boy. She, okay, so if you don't know about this drama, okay, Kylie Jenner had a baby with allegedly Travis Scott because I think it's Drake. I mean, the baby looks like Drake, in my opinion, okay? And don't say that I doxed the baby. No, just. Kylie Jenner posted these pictures on her Instagram. Everyone's talking about it right now. And the name of the child. It's like a weird name, right? So let's talk about this. I have been harping on the fact that Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner have been going through the gigs. Their relationship's been on the rocks. They've been together, off again, on again, all that stuff like that. Travis Scott was never relationship material. Okay, he was just someone, someone who's just there for a good time, not a long time. Very much that, okay? That's me. That's gonna, when I die, my autobiography. 
Rich Lux, here for a good time, not a long time. Very much like that. Chapter one, the bathhouse. As I write this book in the sex swing at the bathhouse, I like to reflect on my life. Girl, very much that. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> I feel that Drake is the father. And listen, I'm gonna get hate for this. Y'all gonna come at me, which is good because I'm one more cancellation away from being YouTube famous. Okay, that baby does not look like Travis. That baby kind of looks like Drake and it kind of looks like Kylie. And I'm not gonna sit here and say, well, the baby too light skin. I'm not gonna say all that because we're not gonna go there. That's a, that's a huge debate for another channel another day. Okay, I understand the baby is, is more fair skin tone. I get that, okay, whatever. We're not talking about that. I will say the baby is very cute. I have seen ugly babies. I have seen, and listen, I have, there are some babies that pop out. You're like, ooh, girl. It, every child's a blessing. Every child's a blessing, but some of them, girl. Okay, ooh, but the Kylie baby looks cute. Now I have my opinions, maybe, you know, the baby was born with like a clip lip. So maybe that's why they never showed the baby and you get surgery to, you know, to, you know, to fix it, stuff like that. I always thought there was some either abno abnormality about the baby that they went ahead and fixed where they went public with it, or it was Drake. I want a DNA test. She can parade that child around and say that it's her and Travis Scott. I want a DNA test because I have receipts that make me question the validity that that is their child. Because remember, Drake put out that little song that said Kylie Jenner is my side piece. And then Drake had to make an apology video, and I have talked about it so many times, and that Drake made an apology for it. No one talking, it's like, it's like nobody cares. It's like, it frustrates me when like, I'm like, why is no one talking about this, okay? Why is no one talking about, I don't know, the fact that Michaela Negrera, whatever his name is, can get on TikTok and say, if you buy this palette, a portion of the proceeds goes to Roe versus Wade, and yet we never see no receipts. How come no one is talking about, I don't know, Jeffree Star will release some new moisturizers in the winter, and then the next day, I have some tea about Morphe I'm gonna spill. But yeah, we haven't even heard that tea. How come no one is talking about the fact that James Charles Allegedly, here he is again, not even alleged, already is talking to another guy and the guy doesn't want to be pursued. Or, okay, okay, I, we're gonna get into that in a minute. Going after another straight guy off the heels of the Morphe closing bankruptcy, but no one talked about that, like the strategicness of the timing of the PR. Look over here, look over there. Like it's very much giving that. How come no one is talking about the fact that, I don't know, Shane Dawson and, and this marriage thing, off the heels of the scandals and stuff that he's been through. It just, it's a lot of reflect and deflect going on here. It's like, and again, how come no one is talking about how Jacqueline Hill has still not ha addressed the bankruptcy for Morphe, but she worried about uh, comments and being negative and, and a cat that she allegedly stole or something like that. I don't even know what to do with that. But you, God, God forbid we talk about the topics at hand. I, it makes no sense. The, the, look, listen, I live in the fourth largest city in the United States. It is one of the most diverse. And I have been to many clubs where you don't even know if these people are straight, gay, or bisexual to the house. You don't even know. You just walk up to them and you're just like, hey, what's up? Well, hold on. Did you know? <clears throat> you know what's up, bro? You know, you know what I'm saying? Where, where are you from? I'm from ASAM. Where are you going at? Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, no, I'm, I'm straight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next. I mean, they, <laughs> girl. Next. You just, you just move on. You just move on. Okay, I have said many times on this channel, we done derailed from the Kylie Jenner, we're gonna get back on that in a minute, but I'm so passionate about this. I don't understand why <laughs> James Charles, and I've said this on this channel before, why doesn't James Charles, and I've said that he, if he does it, I want my 10%, because I will sue. I don't argue, I don't fight. I don't fight and I don't argue, but I do press charges and I do sue. So what you gonna do, boo, okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> but I don't understand why James Charles doesn't do a reality show where he's looking for love. I mean, if you look at these other channels, like, was it Views and the Bobby Lights? What channel was that on, the, the station? Zeus. Zeus, that Zeus network, girl. That's the bottom of the barrel, okay, whatever. Bottom of the barrel channel, I haven't even heard of it yet, whatever. The Zeus network can get Bobby Lights to find love, but yet James Charles can't do a reality show where he's looking for a, a, an eligible bachelor, and if he was to do it, he needs to do it sickening. And Jeffree Star needs to beat him to the punch. It needs to be uh, a couple straight guys, 
who look straight, whatever, who are, who are just obviously there just to be on the show for clout, you know? And then a couple gay guys, some trans women, some trans men, maybe a drag queen, stuff like that. Throw them in there and just and compete for the love of James Charles or Jeffree Star or something like that. And weed out all the snakes. I would watch. I would watch. Anyways, back to Kylie Jenner and her child. The baby is awesome. It's so handsome. It's so cute. I think that's one of the cutest babies I've seen in a long time. Now listen, I don't have no kids. I don't want no kids. I just don't. And if I ever was to have a kid, I would have a full-time nanny and they would do all that gigs and I would take pictures of it sickening at Target, making it look easy the house. I'm just keeping it 100 and put the kid in the boarding school and I, I just, I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with kids. I think they're awesome, but they're not for me. They're just not for me, okay? I have my cats. I have my billions of adoring fans who watch my videos. I have my billions upon billions of online haters and my sneaky snakes. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyways, I just wanted to come on camera and say, Kylie Jenner, that's not your baby. You know it belongs to Trap to Drake. And I want to see a DNA test. You ain't full of nobody. And this, this is a reflect and deflect off the Balenciaga, off the scandals with Chloe and Lamar and all this other stuff that's going on with the Kardashian world. And you come out with the baby now because let us not forget, it was just the other day that Kylie Jenner was teasing out. She was gonna give us the name of the baby for the next season of Keeping Up With Kardashians. But now we get the baby's name and face reveal. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, I wanna like, okay, so is it a Chloe or Courtney? Which one has the drops, Chloe or Courtney? Courtney Kardashian has like these, these drops for your mouth. It's sea moss. Oh my God. And they're sold out. Listen, y'all are sleeping on that Kardashian. What's your name again? I forgot her name. Co Corey? Courtney. Courtney. Courtney Kardashian. Guys, she has these like um, B12 gummies. She has these sleepy time gummies. She has these focus gummies. She has these drops and she has a love potion. And it's all selling out. It's her new company called Lemmy, L-E-M-M-E. -E. Let me sleep, let me chill, like that, let me love. I want the drop, I bought all of them. I have the energizing gummies, I have the sleepy time gummies, and I love it because of the ingredients. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, no sulfates, no thylates, phylates, carbon black, it's all super healthy. And I was like shook by the ingredients, that's why I bought it. Cause you know, that Kardashian is all about organic. Is it organic? You guys are wild. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so she released these new like love potion gummies. No, a drops, these are drops now. She has gummies and drops, sold out the house. Like I'm on the waiting list for it. I can't wait, especially the sea moss, whatever that was, that one drop was, I can't wait for that one. Anyways, I gotta go girl, I gotta catch a flight. So I'll see you guys in the next video and let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. Bye, I love you so much.